in this video, you will see two attractions near St. Moritz, Mount Diavoletta and the Landwasser Viaduct. Such a beautiful day. I was at the St. Moritz station at 8 am to go to Bernia Diavoletta. Many people congregated at the station to start their journeys. I bought a two-day pass, so I activated a ticket to take a train departing at 48 past 8 am. The train proceeded by the Swiss Alpes, and I reached Berlin Diavoletta in about 30 minutes. Hi there, I just arrived at uh, Berlin Diavoletta. From here, we can take a cable car to go up to the top of the mountain. So the now height is up here, it's about 2,093 meters above sea level. And then it is going up to the 2,978 meters in altitude. If you stay in St. Moritz for two consecutive nights in summer, you may receive a pass that allows you to take a local public transport for free. So I redeemed the privilege to go up to Mount Diavoletta. The cable car station is located right next to Berlina Diaboretta station and takes you to Bag House in 12 minutes. It climbs about 900 meters in elevation, so the air was so cold at the peak of the mountain. Bag House Diaboretta Bag House Diaboretta is accommodation as well as a restaurant that is located at an altitude of 2978 meters above sea level. You can see mountain peaks of Pitz Palu and Pitz Bernina and the huge glacier lying in the valley of these mountains. Glacier Experience Trail This trekking course is suitable for intermediate hikers. It covers a total length of 1.8 km and you will walk 200 meters in elevation in about 2 hours. The feature of this hike is that you can see the glacier from a cross distance. However, I didn't have a proper trekking gear, so I stopped trekking after descending about 10 meters. There is a trekking course called Glacier Experience Hiking Course. However, for me, this is just intermediate and they don't, I don't have the proper equipment to do this extensive uh, walking. It's not easy to walk, so I think I should have brought a proper like sticks uh, to support, support my, uh, myself. After lunch, I took a local train from St. Moritz to Kuo to see Landwasser Viaduct. The train has a photo car where you can fully open windows to take photos, making it a perfect way to enjoy the scenic Swiss Alps while traveling by train. Passing through a tunnel, suddenly I felt strong air pressure. My train was passing on the Landwasser Viaduct, which is one of the famous architecture built in 1902. Tienfe Castle Station I got off at TF Castle to take another train in order to experience Landwasser Viaduct again from the opposite direction. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is popular among Chinese people and the photo car was full of tourists from China. I carefully compete against other tourists to secure my position to seize the best moment of photography. While everyone enjoyed the stunning view from the bridge, strong air pressure staggered us when the train entered the tunnel. It was an absolutely interesting experience in the UNESCO World Heritage Site in Switzerland. Uh, I just crossed the uh, viaduct, it was very interesting. So when we enter the tunnel after the viaduct, so crossing the viaduct, we have a very strong wind coming in, so my heart just like that. So <laughs> this is a very funny moment for me. And uh, now I'm heading to the walk in towards the viaduct actually. So let me see, I want to see the close uh, viaduct from the close uh, distance. There's a 2.4 km trail to see the viaduct from a close distance, so I got off at the Filsa to enjoy the trail. The hiking course is built along the railway. Walking through the underpath and keep walking in the farmland, you will see a car park across the river. That is the entrance to the Landwasser Viaduct. If you walk up this steep, narrow path, you can reach the north platform viewpoint. The view from the observatory jack is breathtaking.
Mike Kobayashi, Mount Diavoletta, and Landwasser Viaduct.